This is part 31 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what are Angular modules and why we need them in an Angular project. In simple terms, an Angular module is a class that is decorated with at ng module decorator. So if we take a look at the project that we've been working with so far in this video series, at the moment within this project, we only have one module and that module is present in this file app.module.ts and this is our root application module. By convention, the root application module is called app module. So in simple terms, an Angular module is a class, but this class must be decorated with at ng module decorator. We use Angular modules as a mechanism to group components, directives, pipes and services that are related to a feature area of your Angular application. For example, if you're building an application to manage employees, then you might have the following three features. Employee feature, login feature and report feature. Employee feature deals with creating, reading, updating and deleting employees. Login feature deals with login, logout, authenticate and authorize users. And finally, the report feature deals with generating employee reports like top 10 best employees, total number of employees by department, etc. So to group the components, directives, pipes and services that are related to a specific feature area of an application, we create a module for each feature area. For example, at the moment within this application that we are creating to manage employees, if we have three feature areas, then we might have three feature modules. In addition to feature modules, every Angular application will have at least one module and that's called our root application module. And our application might also have core module, shared module and one or more routing modules. We'll discuss all these different types of modules and their purpose with examples in our upcoming videos. We already discussed every Angular application will have at least one module, the root module. By default, this root application module is called app module. We bootstrap this root application module to launch our Angular application. If the application that we are building is a simple application with just a few components, then all we need is the root module. As the application starts to grow and become more complex, in addition to the root module, we may add several feature modules. We then import these feature modules into the root module. We'll discuss creating feature modules in our upcoming videos. Next, we have core module. The most important use of this module is to include the providers of HTTP services. We already know services in Angular are usually singletons. So to ensure that only one instance of a given service is created across the entire application, we include all our singleton service providers in the core module. In most cases, a core module is a pure services module with no declarations whatsoever. The core module is then imported into the root module only. Core module should never be imported in any other module. We'll discuss creating a core module in our upcoming videos. Shared module. As the name implies, this module contains reusable components, directives and pipes that we want to use across our entire application. The shared module is then imported into specific feature modules as needed. The shared module might also export the commonly used Angular modules like common module, forms module, etc. So they can be easily used across your application without importing them in every feature module. We'll discuss creating a shared module in our upcoming videos. Finally, an Angular application may also have one or more routing modules. Now, if we take a look at the project we've been working with, at the moment, in this project, we already have a routing module which is present in this file app-routing.module.ts and notice this routing module has all of our application routes. Now if required, we can move the employee feature related routes like list create edit to a separate routing module. We'll discuss how to do that in our upcoming videos. Now let's understand the advantages of splitting an Angular application into multiple Angular modules as the application starts to grow. Better code organization. Modules are a great way to organize an Angular application. Every feature area is present in its own feature module. 
All shared pieces like components, directives and pipes are present in a shared module. All singleton services are present in a core module. As we clearly know what is present in each module, it's easier to understand, find and change code if required. Code reuse. Modules are a great way to reuse code. For example, if you have components, directives or pipes that you want to reuse, you can include them in a shared module and import it into the module where you need them rather than duplicating code. Code duplication is just plain wrong and results in unmaintainable and error-prone code. We'll discuss creating a shared module and how it can help us reuse code in our upcoming videos. Code Maintenance Since Angular modules promote code reuse and separation of concerns, they are essential for writing maintainable code in Angular projects. Finally, Performance Another great reason to refactor an Angular application into modules is performance. Angular modules can be loaded either eagerly when the application starts or lazily on demand when they are actually needed or in the background. Lazy loading Angular modules can significantly boost the application startup time. We'll discuss lazy loading modules in our upcoming videos. Now, we already discussed in simple terms, an Angular module is a class that is decorated with this at ng module decorator. Notice this decorator has got several properties like declarations, imports, exports, which is not shown here, and then we also have providers and bootstrap. We'll discuss these properties in detail in our upcoming videos when we discuss creating feature, shared, core, and routing modules. Now, in preparation for refactoring our Angular application into multiple modules, we need two more components, home component and page not found component. I'm going to use Angular CLI to generate these two components. If you're new to Angular CLI, please check out our Angular CLI tutorial. Here is the command to generate home component. ng for Angular CLI itself, g for generate, c for component. The name of the component is home and we don't want a dedicated folder for this home component so let's also use the flat option. There we go, we have our home component generated. Now let's generate page not found component. There we go, both our components are created. Now I'm going to modify the view template of our home component. I'm going to paste some HTML here. This is straightforward HTML. We have a bootstrap panel here with title employee management system and in the panel body we are displaying this image employees.jpg. In the background what I have done already is in the assets folder I've created another folder called images and the employees.jpg image is available in this folder. If you need this image I will have it available on my blog. Now let's also modify the view template of page not found component. Now let's include the corresponding routes for these two components. Routes are in this file app-routing.module.ts. When the user navigates to the home route, we want to display the home component view template. We don't have this home component imported yet, so let's import it. And we want to display this page not found component view template if the route that the user is trying to navigate does not match with any of these routes. So let's include a wildcard route. Now let's also modify this empty path route. If the client side route path is empty, then let's redirect the user to the home route instead of the list route. Finally, in our root component view template, let's include a menu item for this home route. So in app.component.html, let's include another list item. This is the menu item for our home route. Let's save all our changes and take a quick look at the browser. Notice now we have a menu item for the home route. When we click that, we navigate to the home route and we see home component view template. Similarly, when we navigate to the list route, we see the list employees component view template and on the create route, create employee component view template. If we navigate to a route that does not exist, we see the page not found component view template. 
In our next video, we'll discuss refactoring our Angular application to include employee feature module. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.